The Minnesota Vikings had nine departures on the starting lineup. Nine of our 22 starters leave this year, this year due to free agency. They were either cut or they let them walk. But only one of those players is going to be a noticeable difference going into this 2021 season. That player is Eric Wilson. So first, let's take a look at the players that the Minnesota Vikings lost. Well, nine starters we lost this offseason, and most of them are not big losses. The list would be Kyle Rudolph, Riley Reef, Eric Wilson, Anthony Harris, Dan Bailey, Mike Hughes, Shamar Stephan, Jaleel Johnson, and Afadio Denebo. Now, if you take a look at that list, a lot of those players don't really matter. Shamar Stephan wasn't supposed to be a starter. He was only a starter because Michael Pierce opted out the season. Afadio Denebo was also not supposed to be a starter, once again, because Daniel Hunter had an injury, and then Jaleel Johnson was awful, and for the rest of this list, they just had to go. And the only player who we did not replace with another player pretty close to their talent, the only player who is going to be a big loss is Eric Wilson. Now, obviously, we had some other star players, Anthony Harris, Riley Reef, but we, can, we found replacements for those guys. Eric Wilson, we let him walk on a $2.75 million deal going to the Eagles, and just brought in Nick Vigil to be his replacement. Eric Wilson did everything he needed to do to be that player the Minnesota Vikings had to bring back. We don't know what's going to happen with Anthony Barr. He hasn't had a good season since 2017. What did the Vikings do instead of that? Instead of possibly looking for Anthony Barr's replacement, they let our replacement for Anthony Barr go. He will likely be here one more year. We are paying Anthony Barr far too much money. They restructured his contract. He is going to play for another team in a couple years from now. Outside of that, we have no idea who our outside linebackers are going to be. We knew who our outside linebacker was going to be, and that was going to be Eric Wilson. And they let him walk like it was a needed decision. The Vikings did not need to let that guy go. There was no reason at all. Eric Wilson going to the Eric. I wish him the best of luck with the Philadelphia Eagles. Both Eric Wilson and Anthony Harris are both going to play for the Philadelphia Eagles defense. Two stud players the Vikings got from undrafted players the Vikings got and developed them into the players they are today. Eric Wilson was the replacement we had, was going to be our, our outside linebacker who was going to be Anthony Barr's replacement, and yet they let him walk. And who did they replace him with? If we take a look at the linebacker additions the Vikings had, Nick Vigil, who is just a backup. He's just a good backup. Vikings brought him in to be Eric Wilson's replacement. This is not going to work out. I can tell you that right now. He is not an outside linebacker. This is not going to work out. Chaz Surratt, the Minnesota Vikings drafted in the third round. A bit of a reach, but once again, I am hopeful with the Vikings defensive coaching staff that they can uh, coach this player into the starting role. With that being said, he is not ready to be a starter today. So even taking him in the third round, he's not going to be starting today. He has to be developed into that role going into the future. And then Tuff and Christian Ellis, two of our undrafted players the Vikings got, who obviously will not be on the active roster this upcoming season, likely on the practice squad or not even making the team. So the Vikings got rid of one of our best defensive players. In fact, one of the two defensive players who played all 16 games last year and held their own. Both him and Harrison Smith were the two players we could say, at least we have those guys on our defensive lineup. Now, yes, Eric Hendricks did play majority of this is, uh, the season, and he was our best defensive player. And we did see a little spark from DJ Wanham, a little spark from our rookies, Cameron Dantzler in there too. But outside of that, the Vikings suffered with a lot of injuries. And a lot of players who didn't, meet, didn't exceed or meet their expectations, like Anthony Harris, like I mean, Mike Hughes did get injured too. Uh, you had Jaleel Johnson. A lot of these players just didn't meet their expectations. Eric Wilson exceeded his expectations and the Vikings let him go. Harrison Smith did meet his expectations and we have to just say at least we have Harrison Smith because he was the only player on that Vikings secondary last year as everybody was either unexperienced or injured. So why is this such a big loss for the Minnesota Vikings? And why is the why do I say this is the biggest loss for the Minnesota Vikings? That is because Eric Wilson may not, he may not be a star. He is now Eric Kendricks. Eric Kendricks is the best middle linebacker in the NFL, the best uh, coverage linebacker and run stopping linebacker in the NFL. Is he the best overall linebacker? No, he's the best middle linebacker in the NFL. We have Anthony Barr, who, yeah, he's a pretty good pass rusher. Daniel Hunter, excellent pass rusher. We have Harrison Smith, still top seven safety in the NFL. We have a lot of players on this Vikings defense. The thing that made Eric Wilson great is that he did his part. Anytime Eric Wilson had the opportunity to tackle maybe a quarterback, a, uh, uh, a running back, he did his part. 
He was not missing tackles. He was breaking up passes. He held his own. And that's what Nick Vigil will likely not be able to do. Not only is that important, but he stayed healthy. And we have to cherish that because we notice, especially last year, how much injuries can ruin our season. It was the core reason why the Vikings suffered last year was those injuries. And if you take a look at the linebacker position, take away the rest of the defense, because yes, there was injuries all around the defense. Take away the rest of the defense. And if you look at the linebackers, the 10 linebackers the Vikings have under contract right now is Nick Vigil, Eric Kendricks, Anthony Barr, Chaz Surratt, Troy Dye, Cameron Smith, Ryan Connolly, Blake Lynch, Tuff Borland, and Christian Ellis. The players that I starred, if you're watching this on YouTube, the players that I starred are the players who suffered with the injury in the last two seasons. Yes, that many players have suffered with injuries in the last two, two seasons, all the way down to Blake Lynch, who we saw a little bit of last year. Wasn't very surprising, but once again, he was an undrafted player. You don't expect anything from an undrafted rookie to come in and make a splash. We saw players like Blake Lynch last year. We saw players like Todd Davis, Hardy Nickerson. We saw Vikings playing, playing players we've never heard of because that's how many injuries we had at the linebacker position. Eric Hendricks and Anthony Barr coming back will be a huge sigh of relief for the Minnesota Vikings as they are a, one of the best linebacker duos in the NFL. Thing is, we could have had one of the best linebacker trios in the NFL. With Eric Wilson going into, I think it's sixth season, he'd be going into as an experienced player, being that linebacker three, filling that role for the Minnesota Vikings. We could have an excellent defensive front and linebacker. One of the best four threes in the NFL. Our defensive front is no doubt great. I mean, it's suffering with some pass rush. We'll give it that. But our defensive front can stop the run well. And our linebackers, will have to roll, we would have to rely on them. Instead, we're playing a player like Nick Vigil, who shouldn't even be a starter. There is nothing that made him look like a starter in his entire career. And the Vikings drafted Chaz Surratt maybe to play for that role. We have no idea who this third linebacker is going to be. But we know it's not going to be Eric Wilson. And that's why it's going to be a huge letback for the Minnesota Vikings. Because if we suffer with injuries and we don't have a backup, a bounce player like Eric Wilson that we can rely on, Vikings season will fall apart. I wish Eric Wilson the best of luck. It is the core reason. And I don't know how the Vikings are going to replace this. I don't. Even with Eric, uh, Anthony Barr coming back, we haven't seen a season. Anthony Barr, he has the name. First round draft pick. Played here played here for six seasons. He's a, cap, a team captain for the Minnesota Vikings. He made a few Pro Bowls, but he hasn't had a good season since 2018. So can you expect that Anthony Barr is going to come back and all of a sudden fill that pass rushing linebacker run stopping role that we need for the Minnesota Vikings? I'm not very high on that to happen. And even if it does happen, say it happens and Anthony Barr comes back and he looks like 2017 Anthony Barr, 2016 Anthony Barr. Say he comes back and looks like how he did back then. He's still not going to be with the team for more than two years. I'll give it two years max that Anthony Barr is going to be with the Minnesota Vikings. And for that reason, Vikings made a huge mistake letting Eric Wilson go. With that being said, though, we went over a lot of negative. The negative in this episode we have to appreciate how great the vikings have improved this offseason i mean the defensive front has improved a lot the secondary improved tremendously on the offensive line they improved in the draft now they still doesn't look like a great offensive line but they did improve in the draft as well same with the wide receiver core so the vikings improved basically on all cylinders this offseason except for the linebacker position and for that reason eric wilson is going to be an unreplaceable player and hopefully you know, it's possible if this is Anthony Barr's last season and Eric Wilson does only play one year with the Philadelphia Eagles because he's under contract for one year, $2.75 million, which the Vikings could be able to, should have been able to pay. If he only plays one season with there, it's possible Mike Zimmer brings him back, fill in for Anthony Barr. I don't know. I would like to see that happen. That's my prediction is that the Vikings, Eric Wilson is one of the Vikings signings, maybe in a year or two. Let me know what y'all think.